Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Mark, WA7BKY, and he asks this question, how do I mute my SDR radio when I transmit on my transceiver, which uses a separate antenna, or do I need to? Well, there are a lot of uh, little devices that will help protect your SDR radio, but no matter what you do, you will see your signal on your SDR radio, and that's okay. Let me show you one of these devices. This is the MFJ uh, 178 SDR. Okay, now you want to get the B model. I think it's the B model because it gives a little bit more isolation. But you see here that you have your radio, your antenna, and your SDR. When you are listening, the antenna goes over here, but it also taps and goes over here so the SDR radio can hear it, all right? Now you see this push to talk thing? This is a phono jack. And this plugs into the back of your radio, your transmitting radio. And when this is brought to ground, it causes this thing to flip a relay to short out the input to the SDR. This runs on uh, 12 volts, which you a standard 12 volt connector. And there's a little adjustment in here that's not right under the hole. You may have to take the thing out of the box to get to it. Uh, that uh, uh, you can adjust the amount of delay. The way it comes from the factory is probably fine. Now, let me, I want to just show you this on the whiteboard. So you've got this box, and the signal comes in here, and it goes to your transmitter. Uh, receiver transmitter, your transceiver, okay, TXVR, transceiver all the time. Now it also goes down here to your SDR radio. Now when your transmitter tells this box that it's transmitting, now you need to understand that um, the uh, um, there's a, a, a jack on the back of your transceiver that's sometimes just called uh, TX uh, or something, but that's what you use to tell your amplifier that you're transmitting. Now when you tell that you're transmitting, this comes over here and shorts this to ground, okay, shorts that to ground to protect the input of the transceiver to protect the input to the software-defined radio uh, from the much, much larger signal going out. So in this case, you're using the same uh, transmit antenna uh, for receive for your transceiver plus SDR. And then when you transmit, you're using only your transceiver antenna and the SDR is shorted. Sounds good, doesn't it? Now let me tell you what the problem is with that. A transmitted signal, 100 watts, is 50 dBm. Okay, that's a positive 50 decibels greater than a uh, milliwatt. Now your received signal is about minus 50 to minus 60 uh, dBm. So the difference between your transmitted and your received signal can be as high as 120 dBm. That's an enormous difference. That's a one with 12 zeros after it in terms of the difference between the uh, what the SDR puts up with uh, if you were to connect direct to it uh, versus the normal receive. Now what this switch does, and I think I measured this on this particular unit, 
uh, the B unit is much better. But we got about uh, 30 to 40 dB of loss when the thing was shorted. So if you take 50 and you go down to down by 40, you're down to 10 milliwatts that is leaking through to the SDR, 10 milliwatts. Now, that's not going to blow out the front end of the SDR, or it shouldn't. However, that will show up on your SDR screen as a terribly strong signal, even though the input has been shorted. You've noticed that if you disconnect your SDR entirely and go ahead and transmit, you still get a received signal in the SDR. This is normal, okay? This is normal. And um, you can, by the way, use this to check your signal's purity and all that sort of thing on the uh, waterfall diagram. But that's how that works. Now, um, there are other switches out there that are available. Uh, W6LVP, who makes a receive-only antenna, also has a little box that will uh, cut out the uh, uh, transmit signal um, so that it won't damage the radio. But again, no matter how many times you short that to ground, all you need to do is get um, a microwatt through and it's going to show up on your screen. So that's perfectly normal. So this is kind of the way that we uh, do this. Now on my 7300 here, I put a mod in the results in this little cable coming out the back. This is the output of the internal um, front end receive filter. So if I switch to a band here, the transceiver uh, switches filters in here to just allow that band to come through. This is a very weak signal coming out of here, which goes up and into the SDR. This is my SDR. It is a, um, it's made by SDR Play. It's the RSP1A, Radio Signal Processor 1A. These are about $100 and they're outstanding. There are two more models in the lineup. I just used the bottom one and I do have the others and I have tested them so that you can go look at things. One of the nice things about this setup is that it really does block the signal uh, largely, although some will leak in there and we'll still see it on the waterfall. So there you have it. I hope that helps. Um, you can look up that MFJ product or the products by uh, W6LVP or um, uh, other sources too. And uh, so there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you certainly may. Go to decastlercom support and pick a way that works for you. Until we next meet, 73.